In this video, we're going to take a look at the third operation we can do with a function, and that is to multiply functions. As I set this up, I want to notice that when we multiply functions, the notation's the closed dot of multiplication. That's very important because we're going to eventually look at another function that's an open circle, an open dot, and that means something completely different. So take the time to notice, are we multiplying the functions or doing something else? Closed dot means we multiply the functions, which simply means find out what f of x is and multiply by whatever g of x is. And with a number, this is very simple. We simply have to evaluate both functions, then multiply the results. Find what f of 2 is, find what g of 2 is, and then multiply those two answers together. And with variables, this is even simpler because all we have to do is multiply the two functions together. Now, it's very important with multiplication that you use parentheses to be sure we're multiplying by the entire function, not just the first term. Those parentheses are important with multiplication. So with our first example here, we have f of x equals x minus 4, g of x is x squared minus 6x plus 8, and we're asked to find f times g of negative 2. What that really means is find f of negative 2 and multiply the answer by whatever g of negative 2 is. Well, let's find f and g of negative 2. f of negative 2 simply means we're going to plug the negative 2 into the f function, which is our naming convention, tells us which function to look at, x minus 4. Now it's going to be negative 2 minus 4, which is negative 6. g of negative 2 then, We're plugging negative 2 into the g function for both of the x's. So we have negative 2 squared minus 6 times negative 2 plus 8. First, we have to square and multiply, giving us 4 plus 12 plus 8. And when we add those together, we get 24. And so then we look at our operation we're doing. We're asked to multiply these results together. So we're asked to multiply the result from f, the negative 6, times the result from g, the 24, and negative 6 times 24 is negative 144. We have our final result. Let's take a look at another example. This time, find f times g of x, doing it with a variable. Well, f times g of x really just means we need to find f of x and multiply our result by g of x. Since we don't know what x is, we're going to just use the entire function, f of x. f of x is the x squared minus 5x. And we're going to multiply it by whatever the g of x function is, which we know is x minus 5. So we're multiplying these two binomials together in parentheses, that's important, which tells us we have to FOIL. x squared times x is x cubed. x squared times negative 5 is negative 5x squared. Negative 5x times x is negative 5x squared. And negative 5x times 5 is positive 25x. We do have like terms we can combine to give our final answer, x cubed minus 10x squared plus 25x. We have our solution. When multiplying functions together, if we have a number, evaluate both and multiply the results. If we have a variable, simply multiply the functions together.